who's back it's me <laughs> hey hope you guys have had a good week um i'm having a good sunday as well because today is a sunday and um i'm about to start painting uh, something watercolor it's been a it's been a really long time since i last painted something to do with watercolors sometimes it's easier to just pick up the tablet and just draw instead of setting up watercolors water and then looking for my brushes one of which one of my sisters chopped off the end so it's like a round brush that is now flat at the bottom <laughs> anyway that's fine so this week's video i'm going to be talking about the book that was meant to be in the previous video but i didn't uh, include that part though at the end of the day i still ended up recording the my thoughts on that book i like recording my thoughts on a book when my thoughts are still fresh because right now it's like three weeks later so of course if i was to talk about the book today um it wouldn't be as detailed as it was in the previous video so um, i hope you enjoy listening to it i'll be wearing different clothes of course <laughs> but that's fine and again now this week's drawing shall be so i have like two charcoal drawings that i've done over here on the side both are meant to be skillshare classes so let me just show both there's this one which is um I've been fascinated by silhouettes and like um, I think it's called rim lighting and then there's, there's also this one so I'm not yet so sure which one I'm going to put into the video like the my process of drawing it I guess we're going to find out the two of us later on <laughs> back to the book for this week the one that really caught my ear was rather is called the pact by Sharon Bolton I think it came out this year early this year but it's been released to the market, I think, this month. I don't know. I normally get my book recommendations from Goodreads. So these interviews that I normally hold. I listened to it last week. And um, like, have you ever done something when you were younger, made a huge mistake, and it followed you for the rest of your life? Because, you know, when you're young, you do so many stupid things. Because you think that you are young and invincible, you can rule the world, you'll never die, just do rough stupid ass things so in the book there were six teenagers and one of them started this dare game that they used to do where they on a dual carriageway instead of going in the direction they're supposed to go they go in the other direction like or with the oncoming vehicles so they used to do it as a dare during the night actually when they think there are no cars sometimes even their cars when they see cars coming they go to the shoulder and switch off the lights but it caught up to them one day when one of them was driving then at a bend, they met with an oncoming vehicle which had a mother and two young kids. So you can already guess what happened, which was really, really sad. And the worst bit of it is that they described how it's likely that one of the kids had survived and none of them really wanted to do anything. Most of them actually just wanted to, le to leave the scene of the accident and leave the, the kid in the car. So even before they made a decision, because of the dripping fuel from the fuel tank, it ignited from the, with the engine and all that sciencey stuff, and uh, the car exploded. So that led to the death of everyone who was in the car, which is so sad. And that's just how everything became serious. You know, that prank that you've been playing for years. How do you even consider that a prank, really? That's just stupid idiocy. Like, are you are you dumb? Do you not value your life? When you're doing such a kind of a thing on the road anyway teenagers i was a teenager once i also did stupid stuff well not driving i was afraid of the road i used to <laughs> i was so afraid of driving so what i decided to do was that i wanted to because i was afraid of driving cars i decided to get a license to ride a motor motorcycle <laughs> a motorbike in my mind that was so much better and honestly i loved it after that they're all panicking and all that they went to one of their one of their houses where the one of the parents had left and they were like trying to figure out what are we going to do next one of the girls decided to take um responsibility for the accident and confess that she did it all herself and nobody else was in the car with her and they all made a pact that they're going to take care of her once she leaves prison because of course if she turns herself in she would be jailed they didn't know at that time how long she'd be jailed for and she was 18 so 
they made a pact that they're going to take care of her while she is in prison and even after like they're going to set money aside for her so that she, when she comes out she can move on with her life hence the name the pact well fast forward a couple of years 20 years in fact spoilers 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 as you know she comes out of prison and uh, none of them ever visited her when she was, when she was in prison one of the the girls uh tell us something uh, she, uh, her dad was a lawyer and uh, the one thing that the girl who turned herself in she was called megan at least i can remember that name megan had just asked that the dad would be her solicitor and um, make sure that she doesn't go to prison um, or rather like follow up on her welfare even when she's there of course nothing happened even the, it's implied in the book that the dad actually was the reason why she ended up staying in prison for longer instead of getting out and uh it's called appeal I don't think so it's not it's called parole when she comes out she starts like threatening them and reminding them of the packs that they made and trying to sub not sabotage trying to blackmail them for them to try and pay for the mistake that they made but at the same time also even though they didn't go to prison all those years most of them were just living with the guilt of what they went through especially the driver he was called daniel he even became a a monk like something religious one of those um, people who dedicate their lives to just being by themselves and <clears throat> dedicating their lives to to god i think and of course they're feeling attacked and they're starting to regret and even they come to the point of thinking about killing her one of them wanted to actually just go to the guards to the police police come on to the police and confess to the crime that they did when they were younger mm, but now the twist is that i'll say it the twist is that now they start dying one by one by one by one and uh, they all think or rather the ones who remain think that it's megan who's doing it the twist is that there is a twist anyway <laughs> you'll find out in the end and for once i did not see it coming I didn't see it coming so hey you just find out what people can do to try and keep themselves safe you know to try and protect the secret protect what they did when they were young and dumb we all did dumb things i'm sure i'm sure i'm not sure i'm sure i'm not the only one but i just hope that none none of you did something as dumb as what they did and hopefully that we won't do such dumb things because it's one thing to jeopardize your own life but doing something that ends up jeopardizing the lives of others i have such a a sore spot when it comes to these accidents that normally happen on the road because as i've said it's one thing when it's your own life but when you're actually risking other people's lives with your actions that, that's just that's just so mean that's just so so cruel really it was a good book do I ever say that a book was bad? Maybe one of the next books I shall pick one that was. I, I don't like calling a book bad, but maybe not for me. So, yeah, just so that we can talk about it. Though probably I'll end up ranting. <laughs> Whenever a book is one that is not for me, I normally just DNF it at like wherever because life is too short for bad books. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this week's video. As usual, if you'd like to get the book that I was talking about, the link will be below in the description. You can go check on Goodreads and see what people talk about, what people say about it. I hope I haven't spoiled the whole book for you. I think I'll be spoiling a lot of books. Please um consider subscribing and sharing if you like the video and liking it as well. If you're interested in learning how to draw, I have a couple of classes up on Skillshare. The link is also down down below. So I guess till next time, catch you on the flip of the